Right, welcome back to the channel. If you didn't watch the last video, I'd advise you to watch it because we talked about how to create a new user role like SMS manager uh, by just having a few lines of code. And then we activated and we added this role whenever we activate our plugin. And on deactivation, we actually removed this. So, so what we're going to do in this video is actually just clean this up, make a few name changes here and there and make sure that we are on course to have our plugin uh, ready to use. So what I'm going to do is actually just duplicate uh, this in my plugin so that I'm making sure this is working out uh, so that I have a copy. And what I'm going to do is rename this and then call this SMS manager. So I'll take key, press manager. I'll first of all close off this, then rename this and then change this. So what we're going to do in here is uh, actually re-import our plugin and then add it to our workspace. I'll remove this old one because it's no longer reusable. So I'll start adding some files. So I'll have an includes folder. And then in here, I'm going to add, add roles. That will be PHP. So I'll call register add roles. And then from there, I'm just going to get all my activation stuff, cut it, put it in this, and then PHP. I'll add some comments, add new user role for SMS manager and paste this. Uh, let me make this a little clear. So we'll have this and then we don't have this here anymore. What I'm going to do is uh, make a simple require once or include once. This will be required. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to add the plugin directory path. So I'll just use the plugin dear path, which is the file. So I'll add file in here and then I'll append the last pieces of our name. So register, I'll just copy the relative path, cut this and just put it here and save. So let's first check if that is working. If we reload here, we should have SMS manager. Uh, and let me just try to deactivate and reactivate the plugin. I need to change this. So we'll call this SMS manager. And then something here for the text domain. Save this. Cut my reactivation and deactivation hooks because WordPress requires them to be in in the best file. So I'll leave that. They will be in the file. Uh, they will be here. In so we require our functions which are here. And then of course I'll make this comment proper for this to remove and save this. So once that is done, if I come back here and reload, deactivate my plugin and activate it. If I come back and reload, we have our SMS manager here. If I deactivate it, we'll see that our role goes away. So we're in a good place right now. So the next thing that I'm going to do is also require once again, and then I'm going to add, we're now going to add our admin menu. Oh, sorry, I'll change this to reflect the right uh, file structure. So save this, come in our includes, open a new file, give it this name, and then I'm going to register all of this, cut it, clean this out safely, and then add new PHP here, and save our function for opening our admin, save this, and then this looks a little cleaner, it's very, it's very welcoming, and then once I reload this, we still have our SMS plugin here. 